All right, what's up you guys? In this quick video, we're gonna do a quick review of the Fitness Gear 300 pound Olympic weight set from Dick's Sporting Goods. So these things are flying off the shelves. So if you go to your local uh, store, you probably won't be able to find one right now. Usually they come in stacks. And last time I went, there was 35 of them. So I picked up one right then and there. But anyways, um, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this weight set because I think it's a pretty good deal for a lot of you. So first pro obviously is that it's cheap. So you get 300 pounds and a barbell, which we'll talk about in a second, that barbell, uh, all for $300, right? So that's a great deal. That's the first pro, it's cheap and it's a great starter set. Right, so if you're just getting started with a garage gym, maybe this is your first piece of equipment for your garage gym, this is a great starter set, right? Not everyone can start off with the Rogue Ohio Power Bar, which is what I have and what I consider, and many others consider the gold standard of barbells, right? And you can't always just start off with Rogue bumper plates because maybe you're on a budget, right? That stuff is expensive. This, you get 300 pounds and a barbell, $300. Great to get started, right? So those are the first two pros. The second pro is that the plates themselves um, are great for weighted calisthenics. So um, what I mentioned in my Rogue, uh, Rogue Bumper Plates review video is that they're not great for like weighted calisthenics, right? So like, for example, if you ch put the chain for weighted pull-ups and dips through the Rogue Bumper Plates, they just ride up all under your junk and stuff. It's not the greatest experience, but with these plates, the fitness gear, uh, Olympic plates, they're better for that because they have the handles and everything. So that's another pro. And then another pro that may not apply to you, but it does apply to me for someone who already has a built garage gym and maybe who doesn't, you're not the only one who might train in your garage gym. Maybe you have roommates, maybe you have other people who train with you, or maybe you're training somebody. This is a great option to get because you can have another barbell, another barbell set, more weights and stuff. If two of you are training, maybe one of you are doing two different exercises, well there, then you have two different barbells, two different weight sets. You don't have to wait for somebody. Another thing is that if you're short on time, this is a great thing. You have a secondary barbell set. So if you're short on time, you can superset things. For example, for me, I'm always on a time crunch. Um, so this workout that you're seeing right now, I was doing the deadlift and the floor press, supersetting, right? Whereas if I only had that one barbell, I would, probably wouldn't be able to do that superset, right? I could, but I would have to take off all the weights of, off the deadlift, then go to the floor press, and by the time, that's just a normal rest set, right? So I wouldn't be able to do that. It's not really a good idea. With two barbells and two weight sets, I can, I can do this, right? I can save time, do that superset, do the floor press and the deadlift save a lot of time. So if you value your time, you're always on a time crunch, don't really have time to work out, this is a great uh, deal and at least it works for me. Again, if you already have a garage gym and just looking to save some time or somebody else works out there as well, then having a second barbell set with weights is a perfect thing to have. All right, with all that being said, this thing is not perfect by any means. So let's talk about the cons, okay? Con number one is that this barbell is not for dropping. It literally has do not drop engraved into the barbell itself. So definitely if you're buying this thinking and hoping to do deadlifts, heavy deadlifts with them, please don't, it will break. Do not think that this is a high quality barbell. It does the job, right? It does the job well for like squats and bench and rows and stuff, but for deadlifts and stuff, do not drop this thing, okay? It literally says do not drop on the box and on the barbell itself engraved into the barbell. So that's a con. If you're looking to do deadlifts with this thing, don't. That's a big con for some of you. So just be aware of that. Another con is don't expect super high quality or great attention to detail. For example, my plates um some of the coloring is just off you can tell the the coloring just dripped off and the paint job isn't really that great so uh, for 300 dollars for everything right don't expect the highest quality the highest attention to detail these guys are just pumping these things out like no other right people these things are flying off the shelf so don't expect great attention to detail when it comes to these uh, weight sets, whether it be from fitness gear or any other weight set that you see, these are not the greatest quality. If you're looking for high quality stuff, definitely check out Rogue and my Rogue review videos. So yeah, guys, overall, this 300 pound weight set from fitness gear or thick sporting goods is a really good deal. If you're just getting looking to get started, it's cheap. It's a great starter set. And if you're like me, already have equipment but need a secondary barbell to either save time or help someone else if they're working out with you and you guys can both do workouts together without having to like share barbells 
This is a great deal as well. Just don't expect super high quality or attention to detail and do not, for the love of God, do not drop this thing, okay? So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.